You gotta improvise to survive. There are a number of foods that are flammable that are in your home. Uh, whether it's sugar, flour, um, even orange peels and non-dairy creamer are flammable. But today we're gonna take a look at using foods that are flammable in a survival situation. Some of them may surprise you, some of them may not. Now one of the items that's kind of known to be flammable to a lot of people are Doritos. I don't know if it's the dust that's on here or what, but this makes a great fire starter. And I'll tell you what, this thing will burn. <laughs> the great thing about these two is, is it burns long enough. With a lighter, I can light it and just use it as fire tinder. Could be the dust that's on here as well, plus the corn uh, and then the oils. But uh, also Cheetos and there are some others that you can use. Great way to get fire started. One reason why Doritos were the first on the list is because of this. <laughs> now pasta is flammable. And so here we have a small little match. We can just use it to get our fire going. And of course, according to the tender you're using, <laughs> it really gets it rolling. Thing is, you can break it off and use it again and still have plenty for a big plate of spaghetti. Now take a standard orange and what you want to do is just cut around the center just the peel. Then we're going to take and just peel off. We're going to see if we can just get the peeling off. <laughs> that may or may not happen. Go ahead and take, take that half off. This is a pretty juicy orange. It's going to taste great. A lot of times these will just peel right off. But with this navel orange, looks like it's going to be just too juicy. Now because this orange has been so juicy, I'm going to go ahead and just dry it up just a little bit. I'll tell you what, I ate this part. It was absolutely incredible. You want to make sure you leave this stem. That's an important part. Next we're going to take some cooking oil. This is just your standard vegetable oil. Make sure we dip in the little natural wick. So the oil should be an accelerant and making sure that it's on this wick itself. This will burn as long as you keep that little area filled and your wick doesn't burn down. Now we're gonna eat the rest of this. Now for me, butter is one of life's necessities. <laughs> but if it really came down to an emergency, we can use this to make a candle. First take a paper towel, and we're gonna make a wick. Just cutting off a strip. Then we're gonna roll it up. And then we're just gonna twist it. Now I've let this butter sit out, it'd probably be easier to do it uh, with it not in this melted form, kind of a cool form, but that's okay, it'll still work. We're going to take a toothpick and get us a hole for our wick. Then we're going to take some of the butter from the sides and we're going to just put it on the paper towel wick, get it saturated. The butter is going to be the accelerant, and of course the paper towel is going to be the wick. Voila! And this will burn. I would definitely recommend maybe putting this in a dish, just in case this melts out. But this will burn for a very long time. And yes, our orange is still burning. I guess one of the reasons why fish are in the water is because the oil that they have is flammable. Of course, this is an olive oil, which is also flammable. I'm just going to put a small little hole here and get some of that oil coming out. Again, we're going to take some of the paper towel, make it into somewhat of a wick, maybe a little bit bigger hole. 
We're going to put it in the oil. And we're going to light it and we have a candle. Now if you use regular fish oil, it will also burn like this. In fact, when I bought this, I meant to buy just fish oil, but the olive oil will also burn if you have a wick. This wick is going to draw the oil up through the paper towel. So guys, again, taking ordinary items and using them in survival situations, uh, the flammable food is one of those things. Of course, you want to be able to eat, which should be the priority, but if you're really in a pinch, you'll have a backup. And guys, if you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. It's one of the best resources on the web for the prepper. And I upload one exclusive video to the Insider every week. I'll have a link down below in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. One reason why I do... One reason why delete Delitos. These are Delitos. One. <laughs> and if you don't want to make fire with them, I mean, you can always give them to the cat. <laughs>